Well, hi everyone. This is Peter. I uh, here's a, a, a mini split heat pump I put in. This uh, I put this in. I don't know, maybe about a year and a half ago. It's actually down in my cellar here. You can look down at the cellar area. Uh, it, it heats. Uh, it's only, I only use it for the heater uh, for the winter time and fall and all that. So. Uh, uh, it works really well. It's been going now for yeah, almost two years, I guess, a little under that. Uh, I think I put it in a couple of years ago last spring. Uh, there's a following v video, actually I think there's technically two, which where, I, where it shows uh, that I am uh, vacuuming out the, uh, the vacuuming out the lines. So this happened to be a Senville unit. Was, I got this on eBay. It's about a 40, I think it was around 24,000 BTU. Uh, it does a great job. Uh, it uh, so this is kind of a follow up to that initial initial one that I uh, that I made with a home brew heat pump. So uh, that, that I I had turned that into an air to air heat pump. It just was too small for me to do anything with it. So I I really just took it apart. In fact, there's some of the parts for it. The, there's a heat exchanger. There's a compressor down there. And, you know, I still might do something with it if I uh, can find the right the right compressor, maybe a DC compressor that I could run on solar. But I really have put that way back on the back burner for now. So this this one does a nice job. So easy installation. Now, of course, I really sort of cheated on this. You could see all I did was just I just wrapped the lines around and uh, down here in the rafters of the cellar. You know, I didn't really care what they look what they look like. So. Uh, so yeah, you know, it worked out for me. Uh, this the installation was was pretty easy. They uh, uh, the the unit uh, came precharged. Uh, so all I really had to do was uh, was uh, uh, put some nitrogen in the lines and then uh, then vacuuming them out. Uh, the it went really smooth uh, the only thing was was that one of the lines was like a 5 8 or something uh, line I don't quite remember it was more than half inch anyway and uh, I just didn't feel like cutting it down and I just I just wrapped it up there which is perfectly fine so it was you know that was a you know a little stiff to work with but all in all I would say uh, it went very well hey hey it does the job so uh, so the homebrew one, yeah, it worked, but you know it was uh, more of an experiment, and it's kind of a fun project. So I, like I said, I may go back and and uh, maybe pick up a couple more of uh, of uh, heat exchangers, and if I can find, you know, maybe a DC. Uh, compressor that I could run. Maybe with a pulse with uh, with a PWM uh, drive that that would would probably work pretty cool. But I've got so many other projects going. Uh, so now here's my here's my little solar system here, my little homemade controller, and uh, all that kind of thing. So I, th I I may have done put something on. I may have had a video on that. I'm not really sure. So it actually works works quite well so it does it's my backup lighting system you can see there's some of the some of the lights there they they uh, I just use those just really just more of a load for the for that system so that's the story from here and then what follows is the shows a couple of quick videos when I vacuumed out uh, the lines and got them prepped for uh, for charging all right Peter here Certainly uh, got this new heat pump here, the outdoor unit. And run the run the lines, and and I've got this little hook up here where I can with my uh, vacuum gauge on it there. And of course, I probably I also have this uh, this gauge here, which gives me a couple of different readings. So anyway. We're counting down. So, see if we can get it down below 500. These, uh, this line, these, 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 uh, this, this line here, the heavier line, 
was a bit of a surprise. I didn't realize it was that big. It was a 7 8 uh, line. I guess for a 24 kbtu heat pump, not too unexpected. So, but pain in the neck to uh, run it, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't that really bad at all. So, all right, we're cutting down now. So, we'll come back in a little while and check it out and see where it is. All right, well, we're getting down there. We're down about 280, 270 on the on the. Uh, digital gauge and this gauge here is uh, nearly minus 30 but so I think we're pretty good here it's been going for about I've been vacuuming for about 45 minutes or so so I think we're pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and set the gauge set the gauge off hopefully without, no hopefully without knocking it over there we go and uh, we'll shut off the pump. Yeah, that's better, huh? We'll shut off the pump and we'll kind of see how it goes. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't get too concerned about the digital gauge, what it shows at this stage. But I'm, I'm more interested in what's going on here. So we'll, we'll see. We'll watch it. We'll keep it here for about an hour or so, and then, uh, oops, for about an hour or so, and then we'll come back and check it out and make sure we're all right. And I think we're going to be in pretty good shape, and uh, we can start uh, pressuring the system here. If uh, she holds her charge, uh, uh, I don't want to see, I don't want to see that, uh, I don't want to see that, that, that needle move an iota. So, so if, it, if it's good in about an hour, then we are good to go.